You're good. Okay, everyone, today is Monday, May 4th, and you are now part of the Carolyn and Nicole show because I am hosting and co-hosting actually with Carolyn, and we're going to talk about some organization strategies and things that have worked for us. So I've been very anxious to get to know how Carolyn's success has happened with her organization, so she agreed to show us her whiteboard and give us some tips and tricks on what is working for her. So, Carolyn, if you want to go ahead, I'd be happy to learn from you. Okay. Um, so, I'm, I'm sure all of you probably know who I am, but um, I'm Carolyn, and I have just recently hit Diamond Coach in March. Um, I haven't been coaching for a year yet. I started last July, like the very end of July, so my first full month was in August. Um, but I've also recently made this my full-time job, which I could probably get into that in a whole, whole nother chat, maybe, maybe next week. But, um, yeah, I've, I've hit success club like every single month, but I've really been pushing since January to get at least 10 every month. And it's mainly for that cruise. Like I just, it's something that's really motivating me to do it. And I, I had to find a way to make it happen. So. I'm going to be sharing like three tips with you. My first one is my dry erase board 10 in play technique, which is something I learned at a super Saturday in January. Um, and then how do you get current customers to cancel Shakeology and reorder with another program to get extra points for success club. And also if we have time, I'll go over my Evernote folders really quickly. So I don't know if everyone can see this board. I'll tilt it down a little bit, but this is, this is my dry erase board. I think I got it for like 20 bucks at Staples. I had a coupon. Um, and basically what I, I do with this board, I have my 10 in play up here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me know if you can't see it, Nicole. Um, up here is my 10 in play. So this is basically the top 10 new people who I'm currently talking to about coaching or joining a challenge group. And they're all color coded because I'm super anal. So the people who are written in green is people I'm talking to about a three day refresh. If they're written in orange, that means that we're discussing the coaching opportunity or I feel like they would make a good coach. The purple is people who are um, interested in the 21 day fix or people who I've been talking to about that. Um, so the 10 in play changes frequently. It's not always the same 10 people. And once somebody commits to either a program or being a coach, then I just wipe them off. And then down here, I have another list of people who, as you can see, like one of them's missing because I had to fill in. I had to put them up here today because I had to take one down. So anytime somebody comes down from the top 10 in play, I grab from down here and throw them up here. Um, the people down here, actually most of the people on this board are coming from one of three places. Uh, the first one being Instagram, second being referrals, and then third is just being, um, friends of friends on Facebook. I, I send out these mass messages a hundreds at a time and well, not hundreds, but 100 at a time. And I basically say, Oh, Facebook, uh, suggested that we would be friends because we have so many mutual friends in common would you mind if I added you and nine times out of ten the people are like yeah sure why not and then that's how I start my conversations with people who I either have maybe five to ten mutual friends with them some of them are friends or friends from high school some of them maybe we only have a couple mutual friends but it just breaks the little breaks the ice and you kind of can start a conversation with somebody on Facebook. So that's where they come from mostly. Um, so then what I have with my 10 in play, it makes it so much easier for me to go back and do my follow-ups and my, um, my invites because every morning I wake up this board is on my wall and it's the first thing I see. And the first thing I do in the morning is I either do my follow-ups in the morning or I do them during my lunch break. But having it there on the wall when I wake up, it's just a constant reminder, like, okay, you need to talk to these people today you need to get this done. And 
it's just very motivating to see it there, like in my face. Because some people are, are motivated by different things, and I'm. It just I don't know. It just really puts it out there. Like you need to get this done, and you have to get it done now. Um, and then over here, I have potential coaches. Now this is a little different than the ten in play for the simple fact that these people are not currently in a pro they're not currently um in a challenge group they've never been in a challenge group they're just people who have either approached me about coaching or i've um just been talking to them and it kind of came up in conversation so they just kind of go in the potential coaches any of them who do commit or give me a date when they will commit i put a letter next to it for the month so like this girl She's actually having a baby this month, or she said in June she wants to be a coach. So I just marked that down so that I remember that in June I'll be able to uh, contact this girl about her coaching. Um, then I also have over here, I have my 21 day fix list. This is all the people who are enrolled in my challenge group at the moment. Um, if you notice, there's little markings. I don't know if you can really see them, but there's little markings on the side next to their names. And anyone who has an orange dot are people who I have identified as having the qualities of a good coach. So these are the people who, during the 21 Day Fix um, Challenge Group, I'll be keeping a closer eye on them. And those are the people who, midway through, I'll be messaging and uh, having them help me in my challenge group as um, they'll kind of become a coach in my challenge group without actually being a coach. And then by the end of their challenge group, they'll, they'll realize, okay, well, um, you're basically doing all the things that a coach does. Why have you ever considered being a coach? So those are the people who are most likely will be doing that with. That's just judging by, um, how the like, conversations I've had with them and if they've done other groups before the ones that have red next to their name, I should actually take this one off, um, are people who are already coaches. They are just discount coaches. And I have them in the 21 day fix group because they're actually completing the program. But I also want to um, recognize that they are coaches and kind of push them and motivate them to take on that leadership role in the group even though they might not have people who they personally added to the group, it's just nice that they can have that opportunity to actually be a coach in the group. And then maybe by the end, they'll want to be more than a discount coach and they'll actually want to take advantage of coaching. Um, another thing I just throw up on my board as well is my success club points because just having it here, I have a running tally. I set my goal every month. It's kind of low right now. I have 13 points but that's just at least 13 points. And that's only because of the, um, the promotion for the summit trip to get to go to that party. I need to have, I know I need to have at least 13 this month and next month to have a total of 25. So it's just, I have my goal there and then I keep my tally underneath. Then I also have on the bottom, Okay. On the bottom, I have just Monday through Sunday, and I have all of my appointments scheduled in there just so I don't forget. And then along the bottom, I have my running um, uh, every month total of uh, success club points. So I have my January, February, March, April, and then at the end of May, I'll fill in May. So I'll have like a running total of the whole year. And what that helps me do is track my progress and see maybe what months I was doing really well and what months I might be struggling a little bit, and then I'll be able to go back and see what kind of things I was doing that month that I maybe wasn't doing this month, and then I can kind of decide, okay, well, um, if I had a really awesome month in February, which was our team cup month, what were some of the things that I was doing that worked that month? And then I can go back and implement those this month so that I can have as much success as I did then. Um, Another thing I didn't mention, when I do these 10 in play, I give people three chances, three strikes, you're out, three follow-ups, then I'm moving on because I used to spend so much time following up with people, following up with people, and then I, 
finally realize there's no point for me to keep chasing after people who don't actually want it. And when they do want it, they'll come back to me and then they'll approach me about it. So I have a three-step follow-up process. I posted it in the Tubby to Tone um, file page. So if you wanted to go check that out, it's in there. Mm -hmm. But after three, like say for instance, Jessica, I follow up three times, nothing. Then I wipe her off, pull somebody from the bottom, and throw them up there. That's just basically how the ten in play, and I use my dry erase board to um, to kind of maximize the success club points that I earn each month. I'm not. Hopefully, that was clear. I'm not really the best at explaining things, but um, if does anyone have any like questions like immediate questions I might be able to answer about it or anything that wasn't clear that I could clarify you can unmute yourself if you have a question how do you know like which ones to pull from the list oh on the bottom yeah um that's kind of just a random luck of the draw type of thing they're in no order they are color-coded though uh, these are the 21 day fix and people who are orange are coaches the black ones are people who I haven't really figured out what it is that they want, or we've just kind of been talking. So I guess um, I probably wouldn't pull one of them to put them up here. I would pull somebody who I had more of an idea of what they were looking for. But um, yeah, it's kind of just random how I pull from the bottom to fill up the 10. But the 10 is the top 10 who I'm currently speaking to at the moment. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Did you see in the group chat the question in there? Oh, no. Let me look. It says, what is the box under potential coaches? Oh, right here? That's just my three-day refresh group that I have. Typically, I have a three-day refresh and a 21-day fix group running at the same time. Um, just, I guess, because those are the two programs that I've completed myself and I'm most comfortable with. And a lot of people are seem to be interested in those two. So that's what... This is just my three-day refresh, people, in there. <laughs> okay, cool. That makes sense. I really like your board, and I think seeing everything, I know for me, like, is a huge deal. Thank you. I'm such a visual learner, and like I was telling um, you, Carolyn, the other day, is that um, for all my college grades, I posted them right in front of me so I could see it all the time, and it made a big difference. Yeah. And I noticed that for our team cup group, you and Carolyn Walker were just like on fire, but I think it's because the board works so well. Yeah. Okay. Well, did you um, want to talk about Evernote real quick? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, also really quick before I do that though, I know um, another thing too that's really helped with the points, like success club points is at the end of, um, like every week I log into my coach online office and I check and see um, like when people's Shakeology orders are going to be shipped so that I can notify them a week before to let them know that um, their Shakeology is going to ship. They can either A, if they want to keep it, leave it alone, B, change the flavor, or C, I offer the option of um, getting a cleanse for depending on how much the cleanse costs like right now it would be um for like thirty dollars but sometimes when the cleanse is 140 it would be like a ten dollar cleanse and all you have to get them to do is cancel their shakeology and then reorder the three day refresh with the shakeology and the cleanse so you're saving them the money because they would if they wanted to do the cleanse they would have to pay $70 for the cleanse and they're still getting their Shakeology for 132. So by canceling it and reordering it, not only do you save them money, but you also get two success club points out of it too. So that's something that I've been doing as well. I know April mentioned it too in, on the team page, but that definitely helps with those last minute. Like if you really need points at the end of the month, it's just something that you could try. Um, Okay, so Evernote. Let me open that up. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen just because I think here. Um, for, let me see. Uh, okay, 
Just let me know if you see it, because I don't know if I'm doing it right. Uh, we don't see anything yet. Okay. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. Let me make this a little bigger. Okay. So this is my Evernote, um, I guess you'd call it like a collection of folders. Um, so this pretty much changed the game for me when it comes to uh, Success Club also. This is another trick that I learned at um, Super Saturday in January when I went. And basically this really is so super helpful when I'm on the go and I, somebody asks me a question, whether it's a coach or a customer or anyone, I have all of my information in, in here and it's all separated by folders. Um, it's also good too, cause I'm at work when I'm at work, I can't, um, be on my computer, but I mean, I can't really be on my phone either, but I have it with me and I have that availability at lunch to, um, to go in and I have, it's, I have the scripts in here. I have before and afters and I just have it broken down by each um, each program or whatever so for example if you if somebody messages me about 21 day fix or I'm like in the middle of a conversation with about the 21 day fix I can just open this folder and I can access this from my phone or my computer which is awesome and if you look here I have a folder with all before and after so I have all everyone's before and afters from our team right here in this folder. Then if you scroll down, I have the ultimate closing script. It's all together. It's like in the same folder as the before and afters all in one place. And then I change the um, link to mine so I can just copy and paste it right into a message if somebody um, wants to order and I'm at school, I don't have to wait till I get home to do it. I can just send it right over. Um, then I have, just random like resources that might be helpful uh, if it's going to load. I have like a container sheet in here, a shopping list form, like just different things that might be useful that uh, customers might want. I actually have to add a couple more things to that. Um, then I have objections in here too, just in one place so it's easier to find them. Um, like if they have to wait till payday, if they have to ask their partner, if they can't order after saying it's too expensive, just like different responses. Um, and then I had a list. I don't really use this as often as I used to or I should, but I, what you can do is have a list of potential clients for that specific program and it can all be in one spot, which is really helpful. Um, probably one of the other most um, beneficial folders that I have here is this one, my personal links folder. So what I've done, and it does take some time to do this, but it's totally worth it once you have it done. Um, I've made direct links to every single product on the Beachbody website to like through my coach ID number. So I have the Beachbody On Demand, 21 Day Fix Extreme, Kickstart, like literally every single um, product that there is. And these are all the challenge packs in this folder. And then um, hey, Carolyn, here is all the Shakeology stuff. What? Real quick, um, did you get make those through coaching codes? Um, I have the thing right here. Yeah, this one. The link generator, it's trcoaches.com. Let me, actually, let me copy in paste it in like the message if I could do that. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Then we can like give all the new coaches like an idea of where to make those. One second. I'll post it in a little chat thing. I didn't know how to do it while I was sharing the screen. Okay. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. So what that does, what that makes it so much easier for me too is um, if, like I said, if I'm not home and somebody is asking me for a link or they're asking me to order and I'm not home. I don't have time to be like, okay, well you go to this website and then you click on this and then you'll be directed to this. And then you're going to have to type in that it literally just puts them right to the product they want. So then it also helps avoid having people order the wrong thing or order under a um, different coach by mistake or something like that. 
So um, that's just something that I've found that's really useful too. I'm getting a message that's in 10 minutes. Yeah, I saw that too. Um, what would happen if we had to end it and then like we started another one? To finish? Uh, we could do that or we can do it next Monday too. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'd I, have you, I don't like, want to talk anymore and take up any more time. So uh, <laughs> go ahead, Nicole. Sorry. <laughs> Well, no, you're fine because I was going to kind of do an extension off of that too. Okay. So, I mean, you and I have worked together for the team cup along with other awesome ladies and we shared notes through Evernote, which was really cool. Um, I do something similar, but I use Google Drive. So um, let me see if I can share my screen real quick and show you guys the same thing. Okay, so mine's similar and I have an ultimate file section as well, but um, I have different folders for, I try to set it up for all my new coaches too. So if we go into coach basics, um, that's just for all the new coaches. And then my favorite one is coach resources. So there's new coach training, different um, 30 day push goal challenges from Shalene Johnson. Um, what is your why? A lot of things that Kelly has basically already put in and then I just kind of revamped to fit my own stuff. And there's Instagram training too. So it's basically, we both agree that it's easy to put everything on Google Drive or Evernote or something like that to where it's easy for you to pull information from. So I even have like these are pictures from my phones or from my phone of the apps that I use. So I'm trying to make it really, really simple for myself, but also for the new coaches on our team. So I think that if the more you guys organize everything, the better it'll be. Um, because it, like Carolyn was saying, it's so easy to go and be able to pull information and you don't have to keep searching and searching and searching for it. So let me turn that off. Um, and I don't have a whiteboard, but I have a giant board behind me that we had, um, I don't know if you can see it. We have just a bunch of inspirational pictures. So I started posting, um, I don't know if you can see that, but I have like the weekly team calls, um, like the weekly to-do list. That's what it's, this one right here, Whoa, right there. So every day or every week that will change, I have the little tally sheet, I check things off. Then I am a total nerd about um, binders. <laughs> These like old school three, three subject notebooks. So um, I carry this with me everywhere, even work. And I write out the people that I want to contact for success club points and how many points that each person will give me. Then I have an invitation blitz and a coaching blitz. And that is like one week where I just contact every single person on this list and see if they're interested in a challenge pack or the coaching opportunity. And since I run my best friend's business, um, I talk to her on a weekly basis, and I also have a list of people that are um, from her friends list. And then we talk about ones that, um, you know, think that they would be good coaches and ones that could really use some help with working out and everything, because a lot of people find her pretty inspiring and they want to be like her. So I figured the more people she can reach out to that way, the better it is for her business. So it's kind of finding an equal balance of time because we spend a lot of time um, with our challenge groups, the like a 21 day fix group. I have a free group that has like 50 people in it that I have to, you know, interact with too and trying to keep up with all the lists. So it all goes back to how organized you can be. And for me for a long time, this was not the case. Um, I got this, beautiful MacBook recently and it's really helped me feel like I actually have everything together now and um, I put together like a mobile home office so I can have it everything at my fingertips easy to grab um, that includes Shakeology samples to send that includes literature to go in the samples I have um, what else Let's see if I can have it here mailing labels <laughs> like the dumbest things. 
So if you are wondering why I have all these nerdy things like this, it's because um, I'm an emerald. And if you haven't gone through Danny Johnson's gems yet, you will find out a lot about yourself and why you do certain things. And uh, I get why Carolyn is so on fire with everything because she's obviously a ruby and it makes total sense. <laughs> but um, um, so speaking of working with people real quick, since we only got four more minutes, um, Sorry. we wanted to really stress the importance of working with other coaches. So the team cup did that for us. And I feel like I have friends that are just, you can't even compare now because we, I thought we did such a good job together. So, um, I went to a Danny Johnson event with Irene and we had a blast there, learned a lot about personalities <laughs> and, um, you know, they always talk about going to super Saturday events. And I, I mean, Las Vegas, and we don't have too many coaches here that I know, but I still manage to go when I can. So I hope you guys are all being able to connect with other people on our team and feel free to reach out to Carolyn and I if you have questions. But if you guys um, are proud of any organization that you have, then, you know, take a photo of like your board or your notebook or like your desk space at home because I know I can always benefit from people sharing ideas and I think everyone else can, especially people who are just starting. So please share that in the comment section if you, if you feel so inclined to do so. But other than that, I think we're wrapping up at a good time. So definitely if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask because we're here to help. Anybody? Or does anybody have their notebook or anything available that they can flash at the screen? Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. Is it working? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Carolyn, did you say you posted your links into Evernote and they copy and paste fine? Yeah, I just use that um, the link that I posted in the chat right. and then I make them on there and I just copy and paste it right into it. I did that for a while and I was getting, people were getting like weird double links. It was almost like making a double of them and then the links like weren't working. Then it wound up just taking them to like not the challenge pack. So maybe something's changed. It was weird. Do you, you do it from your phone and it works fine? Yeah. When, when you make the link though, make mm -hmm. sure you're logged out of your Team Beachbody account. Right, right. I don't no, know. Not yet. I mean, I used to pull the links right from the Beachbody document you know, to make the links. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Mine came out weird. Okay. I won't take up your time. We'll chat about it later. Okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Someone else might have a question. <laughs> okay. Well, it says we have less than a minute. So if anyone does have questions, leave them in the comment section on the team call notification Facebook page. But otherwise I appreciate everyone coming in and awesome co-hosting with Carolyn. And we'll be back next Monday, too, because um, Kelly will still be gone. But um, we'll have more fun ideas for you guys. So hopefully this helps. Please give us some feedback if it does, because we'd appreciate it. So, Carolyn, you have anything else? Uh, no, I'm just uh, happy that we had a chance to do this. It was really cool. And thanks, everyone, for uh, signing on. Was, we don't have an empty, empty conference room, so that's good. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, just like Nicole said, if you had any questions, just post them in the comments and we'll try to answer them as quickly as we can. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Good night.